Welcome back, guys. Um, so last time, what we did was we created our arrays, our color items array and our font items array, and we declared all of our um, variables for our components. So now we are going to make those objects and work with them a little bit. So this is all review. You've done this before, so just follow me and try to remember. So I'm going to make a little comment that says construct components and then I'm going to set these components to stuff so if that doesn't make sense you'll see very soon so first I'm going to work with the text area which is a J text pane so I'm going to type text area equals new J text pane and it doesn't need any arguments then I'm going to do save button equals new J button and it will have the argument save so it will display save on the button then I'm going to do the color combo which is the J combo box so color combo equals new J combo box and I am going to set it to color items which is the array so we created our combo box and the combo box is full of all of these guys then I'm going to do the same for font. So font combo equals new J combo box, and we will set it equal to font items. Okay, and then I'm going to do that to the processor label. So processor label equals new uh, J label, and we'll set this equal to wax word processor. Okay, so replace walks with your name or whatever you want okay and then we will do font size is equal to new j slider not okay there we go and we will set um, the slider equal to 10 by 30 so that means the lowest number will be 10 and the highest number will be 30 and these are font sizes by the way so now that we've done this we're actually going to make the slider um, work. I'm going to make some space here. So we need to work with the slider because the slider actually needs a little bit more work than other components. So let's do that. I'm going to make a comment that says work with slider and then we'll do font size which is our slider dot set orientation and I'm going to pass in the parameter j slider dot horizontal so that sets the orientation of it to horizontal then we'll do font size dot set minor tick spacing and I'll set this to one then we'll do font size dot set major tick spacing and we'll set this to five and then I'll do font size, if I can spell it, so font size dot set paint ticks. And I'll set this to true because I want the ticks to show up. Then I'll do font size dot set paint labels. Uh, okay, there we go. And set that to true because I want the paint labels to pop up. So these aren't required. However, for our situation, we want the slider to look like this specifically. So, yeah. So now I'm going to work with the text area. So I want the text area to have a gray background, a light gray background. So I can do that below. So I'm going to make a comment that says, make the text area look presentable or good or whatever. And I will do text area dot set background color. Nope, not color, just set background and then we will pass in color dot light underscore gray in all capitals so it's going to return an error and that's because we have an imported color so I'm going to hover over it um, okay there we go hover over it and click import color and now color is imported then we are going to set the foreground so that means we want the text to have a specific color so we can do that by typing text area dot set foreground foreground and we will set this to color so 
This is also going to return an error, and that's because we don't have a color variable yet. I will make that later, but as of now, let's just leave it with the error, because we can ignore that. So then you must, um, of course, be wondering, when are we ever going to set the size and the layout? Well, we can do that right now. Let's do adjust size and layout. I'm going to heavily comment this so you can kind of understand what's going on if you look at this on your own later on. Speaking of that, I will put the source, all of it, on pastebin eventually when this is finished. So check those, uh, check that description later on and it should be there. So right now we're going to do set preferred uh, size and we will set this to a new dimension and we will pass in the argument 817 by 473. So, of course, we have to import dimension. So what this does is it sets the size of our window or frame. Um, we've done this in previous tutorials and it's really self-explanatory. Then we're going to set the layout. No, not say layout, set layout. And we will set this to null because we don't have a specific layout right now and that's okay. So that's the farthest I'm going to go right now. Um, I will return to this later on, and hopefully we can finish up. Like we can add the components, and we can set the boundaries of it, and add action listeners. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.